In Fallout 3 New Vegas, the luck stat will boost all of your skills and increase your crit chance. It's a pretty solid perk and the backbone of a lot of common builds. But in Fallout New Vegas, luck gives you another pretty substantial upgrade. Gambling, baby! I wanted to figure out just how much luck impacts your gambling, and if there was a minimum luck stat that is required to turn the tides in your favor and make caps a worry of the past. Like all good scientific experiments, I needed a standardized way of figuring out just how much of an edge I was getting from my boosted luck. I decided to use roulette, where I would place a one cap bet on black a hundred times and see how many times I won. I would start at a luck of one, then move my way up through every luck interval all the way to 10. I would then see my total earnings and be able to figure out my win percentage from that. The reason I choose roulette is that there's no real choices I have to make, besides choosing to bet on black, and it has a clear win percentage. In American roulette, there are 38 spaces, 18 black, 18 red, and 2 green. In other forms of roulette, there's only one green space, but the reformed tribals running this casino want to shake you for as many caps as they can. Betting on red or black gives you back your bet, plus even money. So if you place one cap bet on black, you'll win an additional one cap. Roulette has an expected win percentage. This means that if you played for an infinite amount of time, you're expected to win 18 out of every 38 spins, or about 49% of the time. This means that in a perfect world with no modifiers due to luck stat, if I rolled 100 times, I would win 49 times and lose 51, which means that after those 100 spins, I would have lost one cap. I could take my actual win rate after the spins and compare them against that real world 49% to see just how much a difference the luck stat was making. Now when you start a new playthrough of Fallout New Vegas, and you're assigning your luck stats from the Vigor Tester, they have little descriptions for each tier of the luck stat. The luck ranges from 13 pitch black cats for one luck, to a two-headed coin flip for a luck of 10. And luck of 5 gives you the title coin flip in general. Based on this naming convention, I would assume that luck of 5 would have no modifiers, 1 would have a negative impact, and 10 a positive. I'm assuming we'll see something like a 49% win rate with luck 5 increasing or decreasing based on how high or low the luck goes. With this in mind, I hit the casino, starting with a luck of one and ready to be taken for a ride as the top's favorite patron. I place a one cap bet on black, and away we go. And uh, I wasn't really expecting to win off the bat, but you know, of course that's going to happen. No worries, we got 99 more rules to go, and uh, this seems like a little bit more of what I'm expecting. Let the losses keep rolling in. But as I keep going, I started to win a lot more than I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, there were some pretty rough patches, but it rebounded, and at the end of the day, I was down to 44 caps, which means that I had won 46 times, giving me a win percentage of 46. Still lower than the 49% expected, but not nearly as much as I was expecting. This got me thinking that maybe luck 1 was the unmodified base. I mean, sure, the Vigor Tester basically tells you you'll be the unluckiest man to ever live with luck of 1, but that could have been a fun design choice, possibly a completely different team than the ones that coded up the gambling games. With this new perspective in mind, I continued on, expecting Luck 2 to start bringing me some more fortune. Strangely enough, however, that didn't really happen. With Luck stat of 2, I ended up losing 10 caps, winning only 40 times. This is a little bit more what I was expecting out of the lower Luck stats, but strange that Luck 1 was not that bad. I mean, 100 spins is quite a few, but it's not insanely out of the realm of possibilities, I just got lucky. Moving forward, I expect to be working our way from here. Three luck, here we come. What? Oh, okay. With three luck, we ended up minus 12. That's two fewer wins than luck of two. I plotted my win percentage on this graph, the red line being 49% and the black line is what we're getting. Don't get me wrong, we should definitely be under that red line, but as we go up in luck, we should be approaching it, not getting further away. Things are not starting to add up, but you know, for now, let's keep moving forward. On to four luck. What in the goddamn? I checked so many times to make sure it was actually 4 luck, but it definitely was. On 100 spins, I won 74 times. That's a 74% win percentage. Almost smokes the projected 49%. I mean, luck 4 is only one fewer than the base 5, so it's inherently possible I just got lucky. But this is starting to give some credence to my theory that maybe luck starts at 1 and just keeps moving up from there. Keeping with this trend, however, we're expecting Luck 5 to, you know, be more of a winner. But that's not really what happened. With Luck 5, I got exactly what I expected when I started this experiment. I got a dead on 50 wins. I took a break here and started to run the numbers. On the 500 rolls I had done up to that point, I won 248 times, giving me a win percentage of 49.6%, almost exactly what you'd expect if the game was not modified, with a little bit of bonus as if it was a good day. 
This brings me to the conclusion that there must be no negative gambling modifiers, at least for roulette. This is directly at odds with what it says on the Vigor Tester. And it means that if you really care about gambling, it doesn't matter if you have five luck or one luck, the result will be the same. With that interesting revolution in mind and officially halfway through, I pushed on, starting with six luck. And the numbers are starting to make some sense. After 100 rolls, we end up making an eight cap profit. I also start to notice that at this point, whenever I won, I was starting to see a notification that said I was feeling lucky. In the other games like Blackjack, you really only see this when you win, but you shouldn't. But it looks like in Roulette that it pops up for every single win. I don't really have too much time to dwell on this interesting revolution. We still got some more gambling to do, so seven luck, here we come. After the 100 rolls, we were down two caps. This gives us a 48% win percentage. Sure, I can expect some weird results up to this point, but seven luck is pretty high. We should definitely not be losing. I mean, all I can do at this point is keep moving forward. Hopefully we can just write seven luck off as a weird statistical anomaly. Eight luck, let's keep rolling. Let's start raking in those caps. What is going on? I have no idea. I'm actually speechless. With a minus 14 cap profit, so far this is the worst luck stat of the bunch. This is starting to make absolutely no sense. With 8 luck, I'm supposed to be a leprechaun's foot. And the worst part is that it keeps mocking me, saying that I'm feeling lucky. I mean, what am I supposed to do besides just keep going? Alright, 9 luck. Please, for the love of all that is holy, bring us home. Minus 14. 36 wins. This is the exact same as 8 luck. You know what, New Vegas? I'm not feeling lucky. Stop taunting me. How is it possible that so far, my bottom two stats are tied, and they're 8 and 9? I've run 9 luck for a majority of my builds, and I know that it makes you so many caps. I had to run over to Blackjack to check that something wasn't weird, and I wasn't setting the stats wrong, but Blackjack worked just as expected, just as it had for the dozens of other times I've been kicked out of a casino in this game. I, I don't even want to run 10 luck. I mean, I've gotten this far. I have to. Cool. Six cap profit. Big winner. Really going to show the house what's up. Yeah, you know what? For fun, let's run the same calculations we did for one to five luck. 234 wins out of 500 runs gives us a win percentage of 46.8%. That's not even breaking even. What conclusion am I supposed to draw from this? Is 4 luck the best luck stat? Have I been building my character wrong this whole time? Or, or does it just not matter? This is clearly just roulette. I, I mean, blackjack is a moneymaker, and I've seen success before at slots. It, it's not just like they completely forgot roulette. I mean, they're telling me that I'm supposed to feel lucky, uh, but I'm not really feeling that lucky. <sighs> I set out at the start of this video to try and quantify just how much luck affects your winnings. And the only conclusion that I've been able to draw is that at least in roulette, it doesn't.